Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome back to Sworn. We're here with Andy, Super Mod Andy, and DT to help us out. And I'm going to take out... Who am I taking on here? The Spectre. Uh, um, let's see. How do they describe it? A mysterious mage fights aggressively with a flurry of spells. We're going to use the basic stuff here. So our armillary sphere, long range uh, with magical bolts and the arcane beam. Also long range channel magic energy with a devastating beam. So yes, we do have co-op for us here. I actually don't know how many players it goes up to, but I'm sure someday we can get some more in here. For now, we're going to play two player co-op. Let's get a run started. There's no difficulties or anything like that to go over in the game right now. We did do one run together already just to kind of get a feel for it. And it feels good, actually, if you just want to know the meat of it. Like, how is the co-op? It's fluid. It's fine. Like, we invite party members by just copying the user ID, or you can invite them through the the steam page and it's just it just works like it's one of those things that uh you don't know in in for some games at least i feel in a lot of ways you don't notice uh if it's bad unless it is bad or something like that does that make any sense i think it does <laughs> you don't know what's wrong until it's very wrong is how i feel so this feels pretty good it seems like the game is essentially the same but there's two players and two separate rewards that spawn at the end of each chamber you do share some things uh, but i guess we'll go over that let's take mab queen of spiders so we can put uh venom on some like the light attack here let me show you let's put a, let's put venom on the light attack because i think that should be pretty good so we fire like three little bolts so that'll stack up the venom quickly this is our spell dash is going to be the same this is our heavy attack I really don't like, but that's probably just normal for me. Yeah, the only thing that might be slightly different for co-op, in a sense, is the fact that we both have to be next to the door to leave. But otherwise, it works fine. It might be, like, again, play test kind of thing, maybe. Um, It might be a bit easy or come off as easy, at least, for sure. Uh, for now, I can't tell if enemies have more HP in co-op, but I wouldn't say that they necessarily feel like they do. Um... I, I get the sense that it is essentially the same for co-op at the moment. But it is still fun to kind of see what kind of combinations we can come up with. All right, we got our Grail Water. I'm thinking, why don't we just... I don't know what Andy's got for boons. We could sit here and discuss those things, but it's probably not totally worth it. Andy's playing as, I believe, the Cleric, who is the final character that we have not touched yet. Who has a bow staff here. I'm kind of just letting him do his own thing. It'll be interesting when this game kind of builds up to see, you know, uh, how much interaction you're going to need. How much you're going to work together. Do you need to make sure you get, like, certain sets of boons? Do you need, like, someone who helps heal or blocks damage? Are you going to need, like, a tank style? Because that could be pretty cool, honestly. I, th I think that could be badass. I mean, personally, as someone that played World of Warcraft for many, many, many years, for some reason, like, I, 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 almost, I almost miss aspects like that. I don't think I want any of this stuff. Our spell isn't empowered right now. I kind of forgot what I just took. Oh, right. We just leveled up our light attack a little bit more. So there's more venom stacking up for now. I don't think we need to do this optional thing because it's a meta currency we don't need more of right now in this state of the game. But yeah, Andy and I were talking uh, during the run earlier that we had. And yeah, they have four different characters who each have four different weapons who each have four different spells. So that's, you know, 16 different weapons, first of all, and then 16 different spells. So there's a lot of combinations there, no doubt about. And uh, we kind of wish that, you know, they could have just started off with a couple characters, honestly, and had another biome. I kind of wish their priorities had switched up slightly where uh, we could have the runs be a little bit longer. You know what I mean? And, uh, oh, what is this? And we don't need as much stuff right away. Survive the onslaught for 45 seconds. Okay. You get some bonus for killing enemies. I think you get, like, some money. By the way, I've, I have finally uncovered the lock-on feature, which I was not aware of before. I'm using the right joystick, and it locks onto a nearby enemy. It's not amazing. Like, normally in these kinds of systems, if you, like, tap the... Uh, if you tap a directional afterwards, it'll change enemies. It doesn't seem to work like that here or at least doesn't work well like that so it, it does work and you you might need it for a character like this right who throws very small range projectiles at enemies but yeah it could it could still use a little bit more love i think there but all right our our poison thing does seem to be working quite well we have survived 
No, you cannot hog all of the rewards, I'm afraid, if you were hoping. Look, Hand of Fate. That's the crit one. Or Beira, the Frozen Witch. I'm actually going to take Beira because I have something in mind. Ah, here we go. Chilling Flourish. Your spell is stronger and inflicts chill. So we get plus 12 flat damage on the spell. And the spell is rapid hitting. So plus 12 damage per hit is actually insanity. So every single tick from our laser beam. Oops, that I cast a couple times there by accident. We'll deal more. Let's see. Our health is pretty good. You can see both of our healths in the bottom left there. How do we have so much money? 565? Dang. Okay. The runs are very quick, so we're probably going to squeeze in like a couple of runs for you here. I see Andy's got like a chilly companion. There we go. Look at that spell. Okay, see. Oh, okay. It did actually change enemies when I tapped the button, but it didn't choose very wisely <laughs> which enemy I wanted it to lock onto. Dang, that was just crazy quick. Let's see. Gogamagog, the last giant. I'm going to take more frozen stuff to see if we can get some cool stuff. Ooh, your spell deals 45% more damage. Big spell build, I'm going to say. Hitting an enemy with light or heavy attack restores mana. Oh, that's also pretty good, I got to say. Ooh. I'm going to go with Spellcaster, though. We'll go for big deeps, I guess, for now. I mean, it could allow us to get more spells off, but... Close enough, I think. Close enough. All right, let's lock on. There we go. Oh, yeah, like 92. Is that how much I was hitting for? It's too bad we can't control which gods we see so we could get, like, some, some cool stuff. There are apparently duo-style boons, so there we got a lot to uncover, but it, the runs are so short, short, it's hard to make that happen, right? Maybe when I get more rarity and stuff from the skill tree, it'll become more likely. See some money right here. There we go. Let's see. We got a mini boss. Eh? Okay, so we're only at the mini. So that was pretty quick. All right, so we should get the poison on first, probably, so that it starts ticking, right? And then we'll start spell casting right after that. Two, three. All right, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> okay, that belonged to me. Let's see. I'm at full health. Andy's nearly at full health, so I guess we'll just take some more dosh. I don't... It's too bad because we have, like, hundreds of dollars here. But not much use for them, huh? Get the spell off. Very good. Let's go. I think some... I, I would love some... Uh, just a little bit of incentive to keep playing. Even if it's, like, kind of a lame difficulty increase. I know, I always I always tease games for having, like, basic, like, enemies have more health, deal more damage, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's a boring difficulty setting. But it's almost like the game has gotten a bit too easy already. Um, especially in co-op now, I think. But I'm still interested in seeing the combination that it has to offer. But, yeah. Even, like, a lazy difficulty modifier would be fun. Again, it's a playtest, you know? Uh, so, I'm not expecting miracles. But in case they're thinking of, like, issuing some small updates in the near future. There's definitely a lot. There's definitely a lot. There's ten definitely a ton of promise here, though. You know? Alright. Lovely. I guess I'm gonna take this one. Let's see. Level up. Can we level... Uh... Let's try to level up the spell. I could take more boons. There we go. Ooh, 20.9. Spellcaster goes up by 30%. Oh, it's like a double palm. Oh, I guess because... I guess I'm going to take the flat amount there. I guess because we took a harder room. I'm going to say. I, I assume... I think there was a skull on that one. Actually, now I don't remember. This room in particular, this, this layout here, this thin corridor... It, it really sucks, to be honest. Alright, I'm having trouble locking on to, like, the right enemies right now. Woo! Now, you can interrupt, like, a spell cast by dashing, which is actually quite nice of them to, to allow you to do. You know, it's not like some games where you perform one action, that action has to finish before you can do anything else. Okay, we did it. We got extra grail water. Definitely going to the shop. I hope Andy is as rich as I am here. 
Let's go, 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 go. All right. So this is the only unfortunate thing now, which is that we share rewards here. Now, Andy could use some health, I guess. I'm going to, I got to, let's see if I'm going to, why don't we check out Gog Magog and I'll let Andy take the other God here. Your heavy attack is stronger and flicks stagger. 20% damage bonus. Stagger at max stagger enemies are stunned. I haven't used the heavy attack really at all yet right now. Uh, nor do I feel like I want to. <laughs> Your dash emits a quake where you land 32 and a half damage. That's not bad. Sorry to trim with a stack of damage shield. I don't think we... I guess I'll take that. I don't know. That's just meta currency. I don't think we need the damage shield here. Um... I think we feel pretty comfortable about this. Woo! Let's see. Come on. Come on, lock on. Ow. It does auto lock on to another enemy, but then with enemies coming and going, it's kind of iffy. I'm glad we discovered it, though, because I, I do think I kind of needed it. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. 100 gold. Definitely not. I'm going to take the Queen of Spiders again. Heavy attack inflicts venom. Your companion is a brood mother. You begin each room with three spiderlings, a small, short lived spider that bites enemies to inflict venom. I haven't seen that one yet. But the brood mother is uncommon. Loyal ally that fights by your side. I don't know. I don't know what's better here. Let's see. I don't need money. Does Andy need this health? I guess we'll do the health real quick. And a. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do. Run away. I get how Andy and I are basically both casters here. Just throwing crap at the enemies. Lovely. I mean, that worked pretty well. There's the health drops. Interesting that we get different health drops, too. I still have crazy amounts of money. Hope Andy's cool. With a palm, which is basically just a horn. There go our spiders. Lovely. I kind of like the, the poison stuff. Like, you can see the 70 damage ticks once you get it to full. I mean, I don't really know how long they last. I don't know why, but in a lot of games, I, I like poison. I like I like the, the dots and everything. Just applying a lot of them. For some reason, they just feel fun to me. I always feel like there's something that the developer secretly makes better than everything else. Because they don't... Because people don't suspect the dots <laughs> in my head. That's that's uh, that's my canon. Uh, let's see. Chilling flourish can go up a couple points for the flat damage. That's not great. Venomous touch ten, uh, so it's one point five bonus basically per stack though. Um, they're actually both very close. I'm gonna go all in on the spell for fun for big burst damage. I think. I just think I like the idea of it. Okay. I think this might be the last shop for the boss. Let's see. Look or Titania. I always forget who Titania is. All right. I'm going to check out Luch. Heavy attack is stronger. It can critically hit. Deal bonus damage for every $50 you have. Yo, that actually works for us with so much money. Enemies drop money when killed. We don't need that. So yeah, we're definitely going to take the greed. So let's see. How much, how much bonus damage was it? Let me read that again. I can. Let me see. Deal bonus damage for every 50 you have. Gold lost by Oh, it, I think I thought it showed a percentage, but then I forgot what it was already. Okay. Well, oh well, so be it. All right. I am ready to go. We're already at the final boss. Don't worry. We're going to squeeze another run in for you here since they're so short. But yeah, once again, it almost feels too bad that it ends this so soon. I, I just want to get more stuff and see how much better this could get as is, right? Okay, so let's stack up the poison a bit first and then start spamming the spell. Now, the boss felt like it had more health. Felt like it had more health. I guess I can't say for certain, though. Oh, it's going down pretty fast, though. <laughs> I think these ice orbs are from Andy's character, by the way. I don't really know what they do. Boom, boss is down easy. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. 
Uh, okay, so there we go. That was pretty good. I mean, level four on the chill spell just makes so much sense here. Just like in Hades, you know, flat damage increase on rapidly hitting weapons are always going to be great. All right, let's spend our Grail water a bit here. We didn't have to revive each other. I'm still avoiding the move speed, but I guess I'm going to go this way. We did check out what the revive requires uh, by ourselves. Increase your base weapon damage by 3% or a bunch of move speed. Just going to do that. And it's actually kind of interesting. You can choose between spending money, your own health, or taking curse, which reduces your max health. Uh, when you need to revive one of your allies. And when you die as an ally, you get to float around the room and vaguely damage enemies too, which is still pretty neat. Okay, let's change characters here. Well, actually, let's let's stick to the Spectre, but we'll try a different weapon, which is basically going to feel totally different anyway. The Scythe, the deadly weapon made for taking lives, combines wide sweeps and devastating stabs. I haven't tried these, by the way. Dragon Dive, transform into a fireball, fly forward until you hit a wall or enemy. All right, so here's, let me check out the scythe attacks here. Okay, so that's the light attack. The heavy attack is just a super slow stab. Is there anything else about it? Not really. You can do it kind of like more quickly, it would appear. And the spell... Okay, yeah, just kind of fly forward and deal like a bit of an AoE. Okay. All right. All right, let's get the run started. I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like the weapon we just used, so I don't know how much I'm going to like this one. But maybe it'll almost be good if we struggle a little bit, you know what I mean? We got some health in a pot there. Oh, okay. There's a big kaboom. Let me try kind of mixing together. I haven't done much with the heavy attack so far in the runs. It's just so slow. You see how slow this is? And it doesn't even deal that much damage, to be honest, either. There's the spell. I kind of like the light combo in that you get the spin at the end like that. It's not bad. Why does it feel like we have dozens of enemies? <laughs> okay, there we go. Jeez. Okay, so who do we want? Cleodna, the mother of banshees, or Gog Magog? Let's try Cleodna. Who's, wait, who is this? Is this the backstab lady? I think that might be the backstab lady. All right, let's try Gog Magog a little bit more. The light attack is stronger and inflicts stagger, 23% damage bonus. Um, okay. I actually don't think this god is very good personally. I don't think the stagger is that good, is how I feel so far. We'll take the meta currency we actually need here. I don't think it does much. And then the damage bonus is very, very small. Maybe I'm underestimating. Like the stagger bar, I think from what I can tell, is that yellow bar that you can see underneath their health. And so, I like, did it, did it even work? It looks like they might have been stunned. It was kind of hard to tell, though. Okay, well, it's probably not going to go as well as the previous run at this rate, but I guess we can say that we tried it. And then we can always kind of change channels here if it doesn't work out. Okay. There's our spell. No point in using anything besides light attack, really. Like, kind of weaving in heavy attacks. Oh, okay. I missed with the spell and it wound up going forever, huh? Interesting. The heavy attack takes so long to come out, there's no point in, like, weaving it together as far as I can tell. I guess we're going to take more stuff from Gog Magog. Maybe there's some cool stuff you can do here. Spell deals extra dam damage to, like, stagger. A quake strikes enemies when you stun them. Huh. Stun temporarily prevents enemies, blah, blah, blah. Get more currency. It's pretty boring. Um, I do like our spell. I just don't think that's a good bonus. I guess we'll try. Maybe if we continuously stun enemies, it could work. Maybe we can get a bunch of stuff from Gog Magog. I think we go this way. Try to get more boons or something like that. Okay. Survive the onslaught. 45 seconds. Boop. Okay. Yeah, the stun builds up 
rather slowly. I, I guess if we had a rapid hitting attack, it might be different, but it might be based on like a, the damage number, not just the number of attacks. Don't know. Not sure. Let's see, where are they? Got you. Sixteen seconds left. No, no, no. Okay, we're cool. <laughs> Could probably be spamming the spell more often here. No doubt. Ow, how'd you do that? Got him. Okay. Rewards? Rewards. Okay, more boons. Forgot from Badba, the Dark Omen. Yeah, I don't think I take the money here. Your heavy attack can backstab. Your spell can backstab. Your dash leaves behind a shade. Hmm. I don't think I want the backstabbing heavy attack. Your spell can backstab, huh? -uh. I guess that's okay. It deals quite a bit of damage. These are all common. I'm not in love with any of these, to be honest. Yeah. I think I'm really... I'm quickly realizing I don't love the giant's boons at first glance. Maybe there's some elements we're missing. And... I don't think the backstab is that bad, but I don't know if I find it super fun to have to play around getting backstabs for the bonus. Uh-oh, yeah. Watch out. Whoa. Backstab. Damn, took some hits there. See anything else around? Don't see anything. All right, why don't we see the shop? We got enough money here, especially since we split the sh what's in the shop. I guess for co-op, it would probably make sense to give you more things in the shop. Titania. I guess I'll take more backstab lady since I've already taken one. Wait, is this? this? Oh, no, this one's different. Cleona. Oh, your heavy attack is stronger and inflicts weak. 33% damage bonus. Weak reduces enemy damage. Your dash, dash shoots two soul missiles. 25 damage each. Your blessing rewards have one less option, but increased rarity. The runs are too short to have that make sense, right? That's actually kind of fun. I do like those ideas, but... I think the runs are too short to get a lot of use out of that. This is max health. Ah, well, clearly I need that. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm ready to move on. We don't really need those meta currencies. Okay. Excuse me. Let's see. So what did I just take? Oh. Bonk. That noise is just from breaking open the jars. I saw the, the stun happen. I guess if you could get a lot of the same boons from like the stun guy, you could probably get something fun happening. Additional mana charge, your spell deals more damage, your light attack deals more damage, remove some curse. You got enough money that I could probably buy something. I'll double buy the spell stuff? Sure. Kind of sounds fun. Okay. Mini boss. Try to get some big spell damage going on. Ow, 315. Oh, and I missed. Okay. Needed mana. That's okay. Oh, walked into that apparently. Kabum! All right. I don't know if I was making sure I was get I had the backstab, honestly. I definitely got hit a couple times. I guess we'll take the money. I don't think we're in great danger, but yeah, Andy and I had a similar experience where the first hour or so playing the game, it was actually pretty rough. And then, and then you just start steamrolling. Oh, I got, I thought you could go through those walls. Then it just feels like you start steamrolling. Once you get a little bit of max health and stuff. <laughs> I think that's what it's like for a lot of roguelikes though. And that's often the experience, especially ones with a lot of meta currency or meta, meta progression, I should say. Uh, it starts off rough and then you just start rolling through once you get a few of those upgrades, right? probably why you know as more and more games become more roguelite e with meta progression and they move further and further away from being true roguelikes the hmm, perception of their difficulty hasn't changed as quickly as the games have developed what am i trying to say here i'm saying that roguelikes as a genre have gotten easier over time but they still have a bit of a uh, perception or, 
Let's see. What's the word I'm trying to think of here? Reputation for being very difficult. But I think they're actually quite accessible nowadays. Most of them. Not Spelunky, though. Fuck that game. <laughs> oh, come on. Totally missed with a bunch of spells there. I'm coming for you. Kaboom! That was a backstab? Okay. Let's see. More Babda. Okay. Hmm. Heavy attack can backstab now. You have a chance to evade 22.5%. That's pretty good. After killing an enemy, briefly gain invisibility. Enemies won't target you, but can still damage you. Ends if hit by an enemy. Well, I think I'd rather take the evasion. That does sound fun, though, I'll say. I don't think that's too bad. Oh, Andy's letting me know in Discord that he did get a duo boon. Something called Detonate with Gogmagog. Lucky duck. I still haven't seen one. We're going to have to be patient about it. Perhaps I'll edit it in the footage here. In case y'all are curious what it looks like. Let's see. Money. Eh, we could probably take a palm, right? Plus, we'll have a shorter room this way. Seems good to me. Oh, 315. That's without the B-stab, too, by the way. We do have the power up. I saw the backstab note, but I don't see a damage number because it's like instant killing them, apparently. <laughs> Bit unfortunate because I want to know how much damage it's dealing, you know? Why doesn't it show me the number? Just because I get the kill? Oh, come on. Got him. Okay. You can level up the evasion. Wow, an extra 10% is so much, right? It is so much. I think it's the spell, though, right? I think it's the spell here. What is that? Oh, it's just a currency we don't really need, I think. We've already unlocked everything besides the stuff that you need the grail water for. Kaboom. Okay. I'll save you, Andy. There's not a ton of interaction between players, and I don't know. Should there be? Is that what you want co-op to be? Something where you have to interact with each other? Or do you just want it to be like you're both kind of playing the game and having a good time of, of your own accord? I mean, you do have to both succeed at the same time, but it doesn't necessarily require you to be, like, you know, organized super hard, right? Heavy attack deals more? No. Light attack deals some more. Don't really need any of this stuff. I think we'll take the Grail Water here. It looks like I still have the buffs. Can I look at my buffs? Anywhere, really? Okay, look at Andy's Dual Boon from here. Can I look at Andy's stuff? I'm trying to move down. Let me see if the mouse will help me. Oh, the mouse does help me. Ah, that name. Enemies you stun will explode for additional damage. In an area around them. Wait, don't I have that? A quake strikes enemies when you stun them. It's very similar. <laughs> it's quite similar, interestingly. Okay, let's do the optional stuff for the... Grail water here. Evaded. Okay. Man, there's like a lot of enemies for this. All right, well done. Still don't need anything from there, I think. Save my money for the shop, though, I think, at this point. I, I wouldn't mind if for if they ever update the playtest, if they just have add like three three ish more chambers per run or something for now. Even if they don't, even if everything's the same, just because I want to kind of experience more boons in one run, thus possibly being able to see. Legendary boons, duo boons, more stuff like that. Just kind of see how things go. I mean, if I could ask for more stuff, like make them make it a little more difficult too, the further in you get, I would. But I mean, if we need a bare minimum, so be it. Let's see. We got a lot of backstab god stuff here. You can backstab by hitting an enemy from the side. All your backstabs deal more damage. Ooh. Your backstabs inflict bleed. At max stacks of bleed, enemies hemorrhage. Bleed. When an enemy reaches max stacks, they hemorrhage. Hemorrhage. Large flat damage dealt at, to enemies at max stacks. Which they... Does bleed do anything else besides stacking up for hemorrhage? Like, is that a dot? I think we'll take deadly precision here. 
for the spell damage. Our spell buffs did wear off though now. I guess I'm going to take this. We're kind of all in on the B stabs at this point. Kabum. There we go. Bit of an explosion there. Oh, I can see Andy's detonation from the stagger, interestingly. Or at least that's what it that's what it kind of looked like. It sounded like something detonating. <laughs> To do. Dang, that sounds pretty good, actually. Reaching blades, not great. The soul missiles from our dash, eh. I guess I'll take slippery target. Yeah, I don't love these palms, honestly. I just want more damage all the time. I don't think we need the money, right, Andy? Like we just don't. I don't know how much. I don't. I don't know how much Andy has. I guess, but I don't need the money, and that's that's clearly the important part here. Let me see. Give me the palm. All right, we can get more backstab damage bonus. And I don't know, I'm going to take Mab here. Heavy attack inflicts Venom. Companion is a Broodmother. Heal at the end of each room. Well, we're at the boss, so I'm not going to take the Hibernator. I guess I'm going to take the Brood Companion here. So looks like there's a Companion slot. Like, if you look at the right side, the bottom slot is a Companion slot. So in other words, every god ship probably has a Companion. I think we've seen, like, the Arctic Hare as well. Interesting that it's like an entire slot and everything, though, I thought. Yeah. All right, let's see how we do. Not as strong as the previous build, at least at least for me. I don't know how it was for Andy. Yeah. Got to get a DPS meter. Oh, 659 of that backstab. And I'm able to spam it better, too, I'm noticing. Make sure you dash through that. Here comes the Whirlwind. We got full mana. Let's try to make sure we get a backstab if possible. Okay, I didn't really. That's okay, though. Backstab for 439. Got him! Woo! That actually worked pretty well. Possibly even better than the previous run. <laughs> that went very smooth. All right. I liked it. New boons, new weapons, new things to uncover still. And there's a lot more still to find out. All right, why don't we spend our Grail Water? If you made it this far in the video, do me a favor. Let's give a shout out to Andy. Say, Andy, you are a beautiful treasure, and we will always enjoy your pleasurable company. Say all those things verbatim, please, for me. Let's see. Gain a 10% chance that rooms will contain a breakable pot with gold inside. Don't love it. Reduce the cost of reviving an ally. Don't love it. Let's try to increase our rarity for boons here. 4% more likely to receive rare blessings. 1% more likely for legendaries. 2% more likely for epics. I guess I'm going to do that for now. Just because I don't think I need the rest of the stuff. You know what I mean? Okay, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, we got to check out the Spectre. Next episode, I guess we're going to check out the Monk. And see how they feel. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.